Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Red Cloud. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat Lord Incendius. He is in the raid, uh, Blackrock Depths. He is the third boss in the actual raid. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on normal, heroic, and on Alfar. All of the difficulties, actually, the mechanics are all the same. It's just the damage difference that is um, changed. And I'll be showing you guys what to be looking out for as far as tanks, DPS, and healers go. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So I'm going to explain the fight super quick uh, for you guys. The way it works for Lord Incendius is that he's got two mechanics. Can't stand in the lava, so don't stand in the bad stuff. That's one thing. Two is that there are going to be elementals that are going to spawn around him. And the elementals that spawn around him, they are going to start casting an ability. The ability, however, does not do an insane amount of damage so that's one thing but if there are multiple of them obviously they're going to be doing quite a bit of damage um you want to interrupt the uh actual geyser and then you see how we didn't kill the second one that's what you want to do so you want to like stagnate the actual explosion here because dying flare is what they cast when they die and you want to Everybody needs to soak inside of it because it does like 17 million damage if nobody's in it. It'll do it to the whole raid. So the damage is split amongst the people that are inside of the Dying Flare. And therefore, you want as many people inside of it as possible because that damage will get soaked and split between you guys. So the other thing that you want to do is you want to try and only focus one of the geysers while interrupting the other uh, geyser and then only soaking inside one dying flare at the same time, because it does do quite a bit of damage if you guys are tanking multiple of these at a time. Um, the other thing is Scorching Wind, and Scorching Wind is something that you guys are going to have to deal with where uh, he will try and push you off of the platform. And for specifically for tanks, uh, he casts Blowback, and Blowback is something that if you are not being affected by Blowback, you need to go ahead and taunt the boss if you are a tank because then he will cast blowback on you instead of the other tank who is being pushed off the platform. So blowback is a lot stronger than the actual wind current that you we are um, all kind of hit with. Um, you guys can also use any movement speed increases that may help you or anything similar to that. Um, me personally in this fight, I was kind of like focusing more on interrupting the flame geysers because I just didn't want them testing any of the, uh, blazes on us. However, I find that, uh, the actual damage ability that they spawn, it's not really that intense. So it does do a lot of damage and there is another, uh, actual ability that you want to be on the lookout for, which is called scorching wind. Uh, flame geysers that remain when Lord Insidious casts Scorching Wind can be deadly. The reason why is because they are constantly casting and you are also constantly moving. So it's hard for you guys to interrupt, uh, stay on top of them, especially with all the lava on the ground. So that's why you want to be careful because it's going to be hard for you to soak while you guys are being pushed off the platform. Essentially, that is the fight with Lord Incendius. It's a pretty straightforward fight. After after that, uh, after all the facts, but it is fun though. I think it's one of the funner uh, fights that I've seen, uh, especially compared to like Narbar Palace. I think this this uh, these raids are really doing some justice with like the fights. So I think that's really cool. Um, and as far as that goes, everything else should be pretty self-explanatory. As far as the fight goes, you just DPS him and try and kill him and stay alive as much as possible. Um, other than that, he drops uh, 597 pieces of gear, uh, 610 pieces of gear, or 584 pieces of gear for you guys who are doing LFR, heroic, or normal. All right, guys, so that is the Lord's Incendious fight. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. If this video helped you at any point, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with anybody that may benefit from watching this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out.